many of you will be familiar with the famous impulse control experiments of Walter Michel in the 60s, which have been replicated for many decades, showing that when you placed three or four-year-old children in front of a temptation, in, in his case, a single marshmallow, and said, don't eat the marshmallow, and when I come back, I'll give you two, um, the children who were able to develop strategies to distract themselves, to control their impulses, exercise self-control, when followed up 10 years later, had more motivation, more friends, much higher academic success, and this feature, self-control, was more highly correlated with university entrance than IQ was. So if you don't have self-control, you end up being unable to control anger, being engaged in violence, ending up in jail and at the bottom of the socioeconomic scale. So children with attention deficit disorder not only do badly at school, but are often engaging in impulsive violence against other students. Ritalin improves impulse control. 10% of children now in many parts of the world are on Ritalin for the attention deficit disorder. I don't think this is a disease. It's really a variation of normal, but a very disadvantageous variation of normal. In, again, a study from Sweden a few years ago, um, it's a large cohort study that looked at adults who had attention deficit disorder who were either on Ritalin, who weren't on Ritalin. And if you were on Ritalin, there was a 32% reduction in violent reoffence in males and a 41% reduction in females. That's a massive improvement 